So today we're going to be discussing the Shopify card reader, which is now my favorite card reader. My first favorite is the PayPal, you know, in the beginning, as you guys may have watched in my previous video. If you haven't watched that video yet, go ahead and watch it right up there. Okay. So the first thing I want to say is the Shopify card reader is a game changer. All right. Let me tell you why it's a game changer. It's a game changer because I have a Shopify website now. If you don't have a Shopify website, I don't think this could work with you because this is the this, the program is for a Shopify the Sh Shopify app, and you'd have to have a Shopify account for that. So it wouldn't make sense for you to have another website and try to use a Shopify card reader. That's not going to work. If you have another website that does not come with a card reader, try the PayPal card reader. You know, I'll link it below. Try that one. Okay, so if you do have a Shopify website, then using a Shopify card reader is the best decision you can make because guess what? It's so organized, like it's amazing. The type of Shopify card reader that I have is the tap. I have the tap, chip and swipe card reader, boss moves. Like you literally have everything that a store has, like you can take. Apple Pay, you, you can take everything. Let, let anything, anything your customer comes, comes with, you got it covered. You don't have no reason. You, you literally can take any payment possible. Like you got this with a Shopify card reader. So, you know, but this one is the more expensive one. It's not the cheaper one. And it's a great investment. Like go ahead and just buy it. If you want something cheaper and you have a Shopify store, then get you can get the like it's a dip and swipe one that they have you can go ahead and get that but let me tell you something having the dip tap and swipe you can call out payments from all around apple pay samsung pay google pay everything the come and them just tap your phone right on top of it why not why would you not have it <laughs> okay all right if it's not affordable you might not be able to have it so that's fine no judgment just get the paypal one or get the cheaper version but if you want to upgrade because you want because you want to have that type of vibe this is it here it is you know the goody goody the good one the shopify card reader kind of dusty you know dip tap and does not swipe well it costs it costs 49 dollars now that might be a lot to a lot of people no judgment it might be a lot so if you cannot afford that that is fine you can get the their cheaper version which is i think that's the swipe one that's fine you know use what you have until you're able to get the upgrade now if you can afford this 49 dollars one i'll say it is as i said previously and i keep saying i'm going to keep saying it best investment you could ever make especially if you have a shopify store and if you have a shopify store this is the only reason why you should be using this so yeah if you don't have one don't even bother it, i don't think it would work with it it is a little bit bigger than i think if you have a square card reader it is the same size as this if you have a paypal card reader you know these are the size difference but it's not that much of a size difference that you won't want it you understand so it is a bit bigger but it's light it's still very light it's still compatible you, can, you know it's compact you can still take it wherever you want you can still i can still fit this in my back pocket you can still put it in here if you want you can literally take this any and everywhere once you have a bluetooth connection you're good to go make sure you charge it from the night before i have never been out with this and it died on me before so you don't have to worry about that battery life turn up so good because it uses the usb-c charger that's the charger that the new androids use which is i think that i have the samsung s9 and it uses that type of charger i'm not sure if the iphone no the iphone charger is completely different i don't even think about it but if you have like a lot of div new devices gadgets are coming out they have the usb-c charging port so it's compatible with those chargers i'll show you here this is what i'm talking about the usb-c focus okay there it goes yes so it's compatible with that and you won't have to worry about you know 
finding a charger or anything like that once you charge it the day before you're good to go it's also bluetooth connection is compatible with iphone it's compatible with android compatible with tablets you know when you download the software app to your phone or to your tablet it's it's called shopify store or shopify pos yes so it's called shopify pos you download it once you download it you open it up and you sign in once you download it open it up and you sign in with your shopify website login what that does is that everything that you have in the website is it can be available on the store all you have to do is go on your website and you can say available here available what you want to be available you know if you have it because on shopify store it has the option to where you want your products to be available if you have it to be available everywhere then it will be there you can make it only available on the store that's fine you can make it only available on online whatever you want to do but once you make it available when you sign in everything is there so what that means is accurate inventory tracking so you're tracking the inventory that you have there and on the website so if you sell it's gonna tell you you know you have two locations when you pop up and what's on the website if you're selling directly from whatever is on the website that's fine because it will deduct from that as well not only that it makes it easier for inventory tracking but it also makes it easier on your ana analytics you can check how much you're making all of that it will tell you how much you're making here how much you're making there if you want to take cash and record it that will be added to your analytics so you'll be able to in to add that to your monthly sales or for your finance statements that will be added you know to your monthly sales weekly sales yearly whatever it is you won't have to worry about you know double recording or anything like that so that's a that's a perk as well i think that's pretty good very convenient especially if you have an e-commerce business like why not and you're selling in front of people why not the battery um as i mentioned earlier is lasts for quite some time it lasts for about a week and I, I think that's all depending on how often you're using it. So I use mine every weekend, two times, Saturday and Sunday. I don't really charge it all the time and I haven't had it died on me, but sometimes I'll try to charge it from the day before. It doesn't really take that much longer to charge. So charge it from the day before and then I'll take it with me. So you really don't have to worry about battery life with it. Now it takes about a minute or two to connect. So the thing with the Shopify card reader is if your location, I think the PayPal here is like that too. If your location isn't on, it will not connect. So you have to turn on your location, turn on your Bluetooth, and then you're able to connect. When you start out your day, you'll go ahead and press this button right here. Yeah, this button once, and then you open up the Shopify card reader if it's not already open. And you'll see like an orange thing that comes up and say hey you know you're connecting i'm going to show a video of me doing it here so the first thing you want to do is press this blue button on top here and as you can see it shows you two lights that means it's almost time for it to charge so the next thing you want to do is turn on your bluetooth scroll down oh as you can see that pops up you can click done because now you also have to turn on your look so while this is on i usually just leave it beside it and then i'll go to the Shopify POS, which is this blue icon here. From there, I'm already signed in. Once I sign in, it, it's like it never signs me out. And each product is here. This is a good thing about it. This is what I was talking about. Every product that shows. Oh, also that green icon tells you that a card reader is not connected. But as you can see here, my own is telling me that I also need to update it. However, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like to make a purchase. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my mango butter it shows you all variants and a too much soap it shows you the total at the bottom here click subtotal it adds all my taxes click charge and then you can click credit and you know if they have a tap reader you put it down to tap or you insert it or you can manually enter it as well I want to also add that I do have the PayPal card reader. So this is why I have this option here. So just in case I take payment from a PayPal card reader, I can add it to the website just for analytics reason and being organized. If a customer pays with Cash App, I can also add the Cash App here and just for being organized purposes and just having everything together, I can just click Cash App and then I click charge and it just, you know, 
adds it to the income that I make. I do the same for PayPal, charge, adds it to the income. You can also do that for cash as well. The next thing, these, however, the PayPal card and cash out, this is something that I added manually. So I want to show you where the readers are. All right. So we're not going to check out anymore. We're going to go to store payment types. And this is where it says add custom payment method. That's how you would add the PayPal card to the cash app or any other card reader that you wanted to add. And the hardware, it could tell you how much it charged to 63%, 36%, I should say. And now I'm going to update because it needs to update. But this is just an overview of the Shopify card reader for you. Thank you. You know why this is so amazing to me is that it takes the nfc and that is i've had customers you know in-person customers that come and they're like hey you take apple pay and i'm like yes and they just go boop you know they just take their phone take their phone and then they go like that and like within seconds it's paid also if they have a card that does that you know the tap boom they tap on it and your payment goes through sometimes like the only reason why like, someone cards with decline if they tap on it is probably something has to do with the card or the bank but for the most part tap two seconds payment is done they get their receipt and that's it but it's it's pretty good it's you know clutch this is clutch super clutch it is convenient it is 49 dollars it is lightweight you can bring it everywhere you can also take Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay from someone phone with it. If someone has a card that they'd like to tap instead of insert or don't want to touch, they could tap that and you could take that as well. It is seamless integration with the website, like seamless. It is so easy to use once you have a Shopify website and you're doing pop-ups. It's like the best thing you could have. Seamless integration with the website, very organized, keeps you up to date keeps your inventory tracking on point. Like when I say this card reader is like the bomb.com, like, yeah, it, it does the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it cover all, as a matter of fact, it, cover, it covers all the bases. So if there's anything that I didn't mention about this card reader in this video, you know, tell me, comment down below and tell me some things that I didn't know about it, but it is one of, like, it's literally a beast in the card reader industry if you have a shopify website it's a it's a whole beast like it's a whole different animal bro. like it's it's great and i'm probably just saying that because i have a shopify website and it makes life easier but shopify has other card readers and this is the one that i chose which is the in between not too expensive not too cheap but covers the basics can't go wrong with that you know so let me know if you try decide to try this card reader or if i helped anyone out and if you like the video and you like videos like this, plus more chit chat about skincare business and just business things, subscribe. Big up yourself.